Hello, I am Marie Contreras. For the last 20 years, I have been a vintage and antique collectibles reseller on eBay. For the last five years, I have run my own pet care business. I write a weekly blog about pet care, and I recently wrote my first book about caring for dogs. I make videos on this channel about growing a small business, saving money, and living life on your own terms. If this sounds like something you would enjoy, stick around. I hope you enjoy what I created for you. Is Personal Capital the best free app for retirement planning? I like the app Personal Capital for investment and retirement planning for a few core reasons. It's free, it's easy, and it works. New apps are created all the time and it's hard to try every app out there. I don't have time to try one app after another. I want something that works. I want something easy to use that I can set up quickly. Can it track if I'm saving enough to hit my goals? Will it project my future account balances? Does it sync with my financial accounts? And is it secure? If the answer to those questions is yes, it's the app for me. As a result, I use personal capital because it does what I need it to do without being too complicated. They do have financial advisors that are dying to give you a free consultation. But if you wanna do everything yourself, you can. And that's, what, that's how I use it. I use the free version and I don't use their investment planners. As I monitor my investment portfolio, I like that it can categorize my investments into different asset classes and prompts me to balance the portfolio as needed. I like the pie charts and the graphs. Furthermore, this app will rank the performance of your holdings, which I enjoy. The tips and suggestions that personal capital generates are more educational and helpful, in my opinion, than Mint's tips. This is just my personal opinion. Mint seems more focused on increasing my credit card usage by offering me credit card after credit card that I don't want. Personal capital suggestions are usually asking me about the size of my emergency fund or to rebalance my investment portfolio. I'm guessing, but it feels like Mint makes more money from the credit cards, while personal capital makes more money from the fees they charge to work with one of their financial advisors. Again, that is just a layman's guess. Since both apps are free to use, it's understandable that they're going to make money somewhere else, other than the subscription fees that they're not charging. Still, both apps are, are beneficial in my opinion. As far as retirement planning goes, when I switch to the retirement planning section of the app, I enjoy entering different scenarios to see how they will affect my future. You can adjust for recessions, plan for future purchases like a new house or car at a specific age, and I enjoy comparing the outcomes. I enjoy plotting out how much sooner I can retire if a new project starts generating income. I like to dream, which helps me plan what I will do with my dream's money. When it comes to budget planning, this is the section that they need improvement. I have been a fan of the Mint app for budgeting for a long time now, and I'm very accustomed to the features that Mint offers. The budgeting section on personal capital was not as detailed or straightforward as Mint in my opinion. I don't recommend using the app for budgeting. Mint is far better for planning a monthly budget. When it comes to net worth, both Mint and Personal Capital track your net worth equally well as far as I'm concerned. Whichever app you choose to set up your investment planning and retirement strategy, the important thing is that if you don't plan for your financial future, you may be deeply disappointed when you get older and you're no longer able to work and you didn't save or invest adequately. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. If you enjoyed this video, nudge the like button. If you would like to see more like this, consider subscribing. If you would like to read the blog or check out my new book, I'm going to leave links to them in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye till next time.